drop a like and sub in the next 5 seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. Morning Chapter 3 Season 4 is arriving in one month and in today's video we're going to be showcasing the new season's battle pass including the secret skin inside of Season 4. Trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned to the very end of this video if you want to know everything that will be included inside of the brand new season. Just quickly, 75% of you guys are not subscribed which means you are missing out on a chance for a free gift inside of the Fortnite item shop as we do get 5 new and old subscribers every single day inside of it. If any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on most importantly make sure to drop a comment down below with your epic games id and what item from the item shop you would like to have gifted to you on your account well make sure you are keeping an eye out for this secret word hidden in this video to give you an even better chance of receiving a gift from me well if you have to picking up anything in the item shop for yourself do consider using my support credit code ytora as it greatly supports the channel and that allows me to do even more giveaways for you guys hashtag uh. here's a shout out to five of you guys using my code i greatly appreciate if you are using it be sure to let me know down in the comments and you could be showing up in the very next video with all of that being said let's get straight into it so we've officially gotten the teaser for the upcoming dragon ball z collaboration with the official picture actually shown on fortnite's twitter account you can see this image here which just says speak name your wish 8 16th 2022 picture itself does look pretty sick we can see a dragon coming from the reality tree and this will be arriving with the latest update that will be arriving on the 16th of august but we obviously did know for quite some time that we would be getting four different Dragon Ball Z skins arriving inside of Fortnite, but the official Mexican Bandai Namco account just posted this image on their TikTok account, confirming that Goku and Vegeta will be getting their skins in Fortnite. Keep in mind Beerus and an unknown Dragon Ball character will also get skins. See, this is just a small teaser of the two skins, and so far what we can see from these little silhouettes, they definitely do look pretty cool, and I'm really excited to see them added into Fortnite. Obviously, in game right now, we could already would have noticed that the lobby screen has obviously changed to show us the little part of the Fortnite map that was actually going to be this Dragon Ball Z collab from the very start. But you can jump in game right now as well and see that we do have the addition of a chair with a little umbrella above it. But if you take a look on the table, we can actually see the Capsule Corporation capsules. They are said to be brand new items when the new update arrives next week. And it also is said that we will be getting brand new mythic items as well for this Dragon Ball Z collaboration. So keep in mind, this event should actually be lasting seven weeks in total, meaning it will be carrying over into Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4. So far, what we can't see about this collaboration is it looks like it's going to be the biggest collaboration that Fortnite has ever done. Be sure to let me know down in the comments are you guys excited for this upcoming Dragon Ball collab and when the brand new skins arrive inside of the item shop, will you guys be needing them? We will also have the brand new issue of the Marvel Zero World comic book releasing on the 17th of August, just 5 days from now. If you get your hands on this comic book, there will be a redeemable code at the very back of this comic book which will actually be giving you Wolverine's Adam Adamantium Claws. Obviously, we'll go hand in hand with the Wolverine Zero skin that if you actually do have as a part of the Fortnite crew pack. We'll automatically be unlocking these once you redeem that code in issue number 3, which only leaves us with two more issues with the final one releasing on the 30th of August and then the next issue releasing on the 28th of September. Also, keep in mind, if you redeem all five codes from these comic books, there will be a bonus outfit granted to you on your Fortnite account, which should be coming in the form of the Iron Man Zero skin. As I we still actually have the Stark 7 weapon wrap which was actually announced to be releasing in the item shop at some point in september it does make sense considering once they can release this in the item shop they would obviously release it alongside with this brand new iron man zero skin obviously if you can't actually redeem any of the codes for it you still will be able to pick it up inside of the fortnite item shop so far this comic book is actually giving us tons of brand new information about the fortnite storyline that we never knew before such as the fact that jeno is confirmed now to be the father of the sisters People have actually gotten their hands on issue number 3 of the Zero World comic book and it was said that Geno was the father of the sisters, they were genetically improved by Geno in every way. For a bet with members of the IO, he sent both of them into the loop saying they would get out first. They didn't escape first but got replaced with snapshots. So it looks like when we finally do meet Geno in the Fortnite storyline, considering we had a little small teaser of him during the Collision live event, most likely we'll have his own two versions of the sisters who most likely will be more evil versions. Obviously not members of the 7. 
Don't think it is any coincidence that this comic book will actually be ending on the 28th of September, just one week after the release of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4. If you guys do actually remember when we did have the comic book that showed up in the Chapter 2 Season 3 lobby screen, which obviously gave us little bits of information about Thor and Galactus arriving on the Fortnite Island, it did say just a few days before the release of the new season to be continued in Fortnite Season 4. Most likely we'll be getting something very similar happening with this comic book, where obviously when we do get issue number 4 or issue number 5 it will say at the very end of it to be continued in chapter 3 season 4. So obviously it has been confirmed now that next season should actually be another Marvel season with all brand new Marvel skins to arrive inside of the battle pass. Overall just tons of brand new Marvel content. We did actually just get a leak as well about a brand new mech item that will be arriving next season as well which is being called named the Playhawk. What I find interesting about this is all of the different abilities that this does have and how Apex did say Epic began working on a new character mech like vehicle called named Playhawk. A few updates ago, it has a blocking ability, primary and secondary fire, plus it can sprint and reload, probably for season 4 thoughts on what it could be. The next season is going to be a Marvel themed season, it would make sense that this brand new mech will be something related to the Marvel Universe, which could actually mean the addition of a brand new Hulkbuster mech outfit. We may be able to find scattered around the map, considering it does have a sprinting ability and also some other weapon types. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about this brand new Playhawk vehicle and do you think it could be a brand new Hulkbuster Echo vehicle that could be arriving inside of Season 4? We actually have some information about next season's Battle Pass and this actually seems to be the legit Battle Pass that we could be seeing inside of Season 4. Obviously sometimes things do change so if it does end up being wrong, obviously this could be down to the fact that Epic Games have changed it considering it may have been leaked. Jumping straight into this, it looks like the very first skin inside of next season's Battle Pass will be none other than the Falcon. In the recent years has actually taken over the Avengers as a brand new Captain America. As you can actually see from this Marvel Zero comic book, we have the Falcon wearing a Captain America outfit. If he does arrive inside of next season's Battle Pass, he may actually have this outfit as an edit style that we may be able to unlock as a part of the bonus rewards. Personally, I think it's super sick. And it is also said that he will actually have a brand new mythic item, which will come in the form of his wings. This said to work exactly the same way that the Silver Surfboard vehicle worked back inside of Chapter 2 Season 4, where obviously if you had that mythic item, you were able to launch yourself up into the sky. You see, this time around, it's just going to be a Falcon Wings reskin. Jumping into the next skin we have is going to be the customizable outfit for Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4, which is actually said to be a brand new Iron Man suit. It should have tons of customization, such as being able to even change the gender of this actual suit between a male and a female. Also, being able to upgrade the different arms pieces and also change the color options which is honestly super cool that basically means we can make any Iron Man suit that we'd like from all of the different suits that Iron Man obviously does have consider if you do remember chapter 2 season 4 when we did have the addition of Stark Industries we did actually have this little suitcase which obviously showed us some Iron Man suits which were not available inside of the Fortnite chapter 2 season 4 battle pass if that is the case what suit will you be making next season will you be making any of the suits from the movies that have not yet made their way into the game I know for a fact that I'm definitely going to try to make my very own War Machine skin. The very next skins that should be inside of the Battle Pass is actually going to be a choice between four, and it is said that at least two X-Men characters will be arriving next season. So far, the options for these brand new skins are going to be Cyclops, The Beast, Magneto, and Quicksilver. I'm guessing whatever two skins end up arriving inside of the Battle Pass, the other two most likely will be arriving in the item shop at a later date, so obviously you will not be missing out on them either. Out of these four skins that could be arriving, inside of the next season's battle pass which two of them would you like to see inside of next season's battle pass me personally i have to say either the beast or maybe even cyclops next bit of information is the one that has me most excited is about the next season's secret skin which is actually said to be spider-man miles morales I know a lot of people have been patiently waiting for the arrival of Spider-Man Miles Morales inside of Fortnite, considering last season we did have the Prowler as the secret skin. A lot of people did think that Miles Morales was going to actually arrive inside of the item shop, which I'm pretty sure he was originally planned to. Well, this leak does say that he should be the secret skin inside of the Battle Pass, meaning more or less we should be able to unlock him most likely around week 4 or maybe even week 6. When he does arrive, we most likely will be seeing the addition of a brand new set of Spider-Man mythic items in the form of Miles Morales web shooters. Personally hope those arrive in the game consider I actually really love the original Spider-Man mythic items. Miles Morales arrives in the game he most likely will have two different edit styles or maybe even more of them considering obviously he's actually worn tons of different suits in the games and in the comics. Definitely bet that he will be wearing some sort of a streetwear version of his suit which you can see up on screen right now alongside maybe even another version which is more or less going to 
be his traditional Spider-Man suit. Firstly, I would not be surprised if the Bloom Watcher finally made her way into the game next season somewhere inside of next season's Battle Pass, who obviously was teased at the very end of the season trailer. Only time will tell for now. Of course, that is all I pretty much have for you guys in today's video. For the secret word of today's video, it is going to be the word BEAST. So if you did watch all the way to the very end of this video, make sure to drop that word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.